really quick video today. Time to show you my new square cut and how to set it up. It's a lovely thing from Craig, which is going to make my life a little bit faster and easier. It's sort of a better version of my rip and cross cut jig. So this one is only for cross cuts, really, but it's going to be faster to set up than this one. It still has its advantages, I'll probably still use it, but little Craig Square is going to help me with some Christmas presents. This is a beautiful piece of 19mm Tassie oak and it's going to be turned into some presents for myself and one for the wife as well. I do need to be able to though, cut it down, not terribly accurately, but quickly. And that's going to be a process I'll need to repeat going forward as I step up my game and start to use real wood. Ah, the serenity. So, how do we set this up? It's a fairly simple thing. Black dots, non-slip, they just got stuck down on there. I'm going to put this on for my circular saw. You have to adjust it to your own. It comes with that in mind. I'm going to be making my cuts on this side, so I don't want to waste too much of this board as I like to use it as a secondary workbench. So what you need to do is get your jig nice and firm against there. I'm only going to cut off about a mil and that's the guide to keep it well out of the way for your first cut. I need to make sure that this is actually square so I can set it up. So to make this a lining cut, make sure your guide here is well back out of the way. Grab your circular saw, make sure it is hard flush against there. I'm only going to take a couple of mil off the edge of this board. I'm going to cut right through and then we can line up this thing permanently so I won't have to do this again. The really important thing is here that you don't move it between making the cut and making your align. So hold it down nice and steady. Then we can slowly get this tab out and line it up to the edge of that board flush. Grab a screwdriver. Lock it down. And that is all set up. So that's really important because obviously you don't want to cut the end off the bloody jig next time I make one. And keeping that nice and tight means that for my circular saw, I should never have to do that adjustment again. Now that's all set up, let's run a quick test. The idea is that you can make a mark on your board somewhere, like so. Then grab the square cut, line up the edge of your guide to your mark. Then, I've got this clamp down just because this particular surface is a little bit slippery. But you should just be able to hide it, particularly on a larger board. Hold it down nice and steady. Put your ear protection on. And now, just nervous on the first cut. <laughs> Make sure I don't hit the plastic and I have set this up right. That's going to cut perfectly and accurately, and most importantly, repeatedly, along that edge. Very simple tool, but it's going to get a lot of use, I feel, and it's going to save me a lot of time. I got it from a company called Cavitech, literally just Googled around, and I think Craig's got a bit of a monopoly on the Australian market, because absolutely every retailer that I saw their stuff on was exactly the same price. So there's not really a way to find it on sale unless you're very, very lucky. I picked up a few little Craig toys uh, on this delivery. I got free delivery from Cabotech, which is the reason that I went for them, and it came really quickly. They also sent me a drool-worthy product guide, which is a very dangerous thing to have leading into Christmas. Uh, I don't need any of it, but I want an awful lot of it. So. Yep, uh, Woodworking for Mere Mortals, of course, got me onto the Craig stuff. There are a few other options on the market. This wasn't really much more expensive, and it just it feels really solid. 
and a couple of the other bits and pieces which I'll do videos on in the future from Craig. They just they feel like a, a nice tool to use. So I'll keep you updated as to how they travel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.